Hi, my name is John Arnold, and today I'm going to show you how to take smoke pictures. Now, this is something that has been done before, I'm sure you've seen it around, um, but as always with these things, the challenge is to try and make them our own. But let me first of all just show you the basic setup you need. It's dead simple, just to take some smoke pictures. So first of all, here's what you need. You need an incense stick. I have here, like a whole ton of them, that was you know, a couple of quid from some hippie shop. and. Um, so an incense stick, obviously some matches to light them. This here is a little ball of Play-Doh. Don't tell the kids I stole their Play-Doh. Um, obviously I'll need a camera. On the camera I have got uh, the Canon 100mm macro lens. That's a pretty good lens to be doing this with. Um, I'm working at sort of about a foot away from where the smoke will be. Um, obviously I have a flash gun. We're going to need that. And to go with the flash gun we're also going to need some remote triggers. So I got a pair of, um, these are Yongwo, uh, these are cheapo pocket wizards essentially. That All they do is you pop one on the camera, you pop one on the flash, and uh, when you press the shutter button on the camera it triggers the flash. Dead simple. Couldn't be easier really. And these were, I don't know, £25. They were dirt cheap. I got them on, uh, on Amazon.com. Um, they don't synchronise terribly fast. You're not going to want to use them for um, uh, for a lot of portraiture. I have been using these for my portraiture actually, but but the fastest I can sink out is 160th of a second. If I go any faster than that I get uh, black bars along one edge of the uh, one edge of the shot. So it th these are not these are not great for that, but they but they work. They're okay. And certainly good value for money at 25 quid. So what I've got is um this is the little standy thing that the camera that the flash came with for standing it up. Um so that allows it to stand on the desk like that. Um, if you put the trigger in between the stand and the flash, and while we're talking about these young row things, um, there's no there's no hot shoe lock on these on these uh, triggers, which is kind of annoying, so they do tend to fall out if you're not careful. Don't forget to turn it on before you put the flash in. There we go, that's the flash on. Turn the flash on. I'm going to put that off to one side, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to work a little elevated, so I've got a couple of boxes here, I've got a, a case and a box and I'm going to put things on those. So one trigger on top of the camera, like so, like that, turn that thing on, turn the camera on, oh card full, let's just sort that out, format, ok, right, so while that formats, um, what else do we need? We've got the triggers, we've got the flash, we've got the, we've got the incense stick, um, now the other thing that might be useful, this is a little desk lamp here, um, Actually, the shots I've taken that I'm uh, using to show this, I didn't actually use a desk lamp. You can live without the desk lamp, but if you put a desk lamp at the side, it does just help you focus on the smoke. Um, now, the other thing you're going to need, which is very important, is a black background. And I have here a sheet of black foam. Um, you can use black card, you can use a black um, a sheet or something. Anything you can get that's a black that goes behind the shot. And what I've been doing is I've been blue tacking this to the wall. Now this isn't very big, it does rather limit your uh, the space you can work in, but you can still get great smoke pictures with this. Um, so that's very important, we're going to put that up at the back. One final thing that I have been using, um, you, can, you can live without this, what you can do instead is use cardboard, but this is a rogue flash bender. And what you do is you strap this around your flash, like so, like that. Click on you, swine. Ah. Uh, see, there you go, there's a foot falling off again. And what this does is, this allows you to shape the light. So you can move these side bits around and bend the... It's got sort of bendy struts in it. Um, and you can use this to form the light. And what we're trying to achieve here, the very important thing about the way you arrange this light... Let me get that stand off the floor. The important thing here is that when the flash fires, you don't want the light spilling onto that black background. So let's get this all set up and I'll show you how we take some pictures. Okay, so I'm all set up. All that remains is just to light the incense stick. So let's just light that. Right. This incense is called concentration, and boy could I use some of that. So you can see what I've done here. I've got the uh, side light on there, trying not to get the light spilling on the on the background, but it is going to light the smoke as it goes up. And I've moved my flash gun 
pretty close to the incense stick here. That's because the closer the light is to the incense, the closer the light is to the smoke, the brighter that smoke is going to be in my shot. So I've got my camera set up. I am at the moment at uh, ISO 400 F5, um, 1 60th of a second, of course, because that's my sync speed of these triggers. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some test shots, see how this looks. I've got my flash at a quarter power at the moment. So I'm going to just focus in on the incense stick, that's going to give me a good starting depth of focus, position of focus, and I'm going to just move back and forth until I get the smoke in focus there. Right, and that's looking pretty good. I've got a pretty solid black background, I've got smoke that's coming up to about halfway up the histogram. It would be nice for that smoke to be a little brighter, so I'm going to just try moving that flash a little closer, see if I can get closer without it going in shot. Looks like I can. Smoke did some interesting stuff there. Right, now, here we go. So, here is the kind of shot I'm getting. Whether or not you can see that. Can you see the histogram there? We've got data that is up above the halfway point. You can see a nice shape. Let me just pick, switch to the... Um, there you go. There's the actual shot I took. Um, you can see that the smoke is nice and bright in the shot. The background is nice and dark. I have got a little bit of light spilling onto the background, so I'm going to just move the, the flash around the back a little, and I'm going to take a load more pictures while it's all being kind to me. Check out that one. Very nice. One of the other things that can happen when, you, when you're taking these pictures is you sometimes get the flash bouncing into the lens of the camera as well. So it's also useful to be able to try and keep the flash out of the, uh, out of the front of the camera as well as off the background. So here's, here's another great one we just took. Another nice one. So, obviously the next step is to take these pictures out of the camera, get them onto the computer and see what we can do to post-process them and make them look beautiful. I'm going to take some more pictures. Photo Walkthrough is a free online video show about photography and digital photo editing using Photoshop and Lightroom. Please help support the show by using our sponsor's promo codes or by passing the promo codes on to your friends. Join the Photo Walkthrough community, find all the old shows, and subscribe to the new ones for free at photowalkthrough.com. <laughs>